I am going to install my server on a VPS running Ubuntu 20.04 LTS, but anyone can follow my exact same steps as long as you're using a Debian based operating system. First of all, we need to install the MindTouch server package. Before that, make sure you are up to date by running sudo apt update and an sudo apt upgrade. After that, run sudo apt install mindtouch server. The server should start by default. Just to confirm, run sudo systemctl status mindtouch server. Now, as you can see, our server is up and running. You can actually just connect to your server right now by entering the IP, port, username and password. If you want to change the settings, you can edit the configuration file by running sudo nano slash etc slash mindtest slash mindtest.conf. In here, you can change your server's name, port, description, message of the day, max users, default privileges, and so on. The wiki goes into more details about each of these settings, so I recommend you check that out. Anyway, the most important thing you might want to change is the username of the admin. You can uncomment this line and enter your username there. Now connect to your server using the admin's username and grant all privileges to yourself. And tada, you are the flying noclip admin who kicks and bans players. Currently, our server is running the default mind test key. If you only want that, Thank you for watching, you can stop now. But if you want a more Minecraft like gameplay, you need to install Mineclone 2. First, you need to find the version of Mineclone 2 which is compatible with the Mindtest version we installed. You can see the installed version of Mindtest by running Mindtest server minus minus version. I am currently using the Mindtest version 5.1. Refer to this forum post for finding your compatible version. The link will be in the description. You can download it by copying the compatible versions link and pasting it after wget. After unzipping, move that folder to the games directory by running sudo mvmineclone2 slash var slash games slash mindtest slash dot mindtest slash games. If it doesn't exist, create it and run that command again. We need to also change the default game in the configuration file. You can edit that file by running sudo nano slash etc slash mindtest slash mindtest.com. Now find the default game setting and change it to mindclone2. Our current world is not compatible with this game, so we need to delete it. The server will automatically generate a compatible mindclone2 world after a restart. We can delete the pre-existing world by running sudo rm slash var slash games slash mindtest server slash dot mindtest slash worlds slash world to apply your changes restart your server by running sudo systemctl restart mindtest server after connecting again we can see that our server is using mindclone 2 In the beginning of this video, we installed Mindtest server directly from the official Ubuntu repository. This version may not always be the latest, so if you want the latest version, you need to either build Mindtest from source or set up the backboards repositories. You should also check out the Mindtest wiki and forums. There are a lot of posts and articles on configuring and optimizing your server. 